Hey guys, welcome to another great day. Today we are going to be making a robotic arm which turns into a sock puppet and it's a great toy but to do the actual build I have my team member Pranoy here with me. Hi Prati. How are you doing Pranoy? It's good to see you. Yeah. Um, we're acting like as if we don't really work together. We've been like pretty much working in the same room for a while. Yes. <laughs> but that's the formalities. Yeah. So Pranoy, should we get to it? Yes, let's, let's get to it. Connect the pins and solder them to the Ortino. Mark and cut the proto board as shown. Cut the pins into smaller pieces of 4s and 3s as shown. Connect the Ortino, wires and pins to the board and solder them as shown. Connect the cables Now connect the servos Stick the servos, levers and ice cream sticks to the box as shown. Stick the small servo to the stick. Cut a cardboard piece to make the mouth. Stick the pieces to the servo and attach the small lever as shown. Cut the sock and cover the assembly with it. This provides a nice body or cover to the arm. 
you can actually make different designs on the sock and create different creatures and be as creative as you want to be. Then stick the jaws to its end. Make the eyes and the mouth of the arm as shown. There, your robotic arm is ready. The arm may be the sum total of the mechanism or may be part of a more complex robot. The links of such a manipulator are connected by joints allowing either rotational motion such as in the articulated robot or transitional linear displacement. The links of the manipulator can be considered to form a kinematic chain. The terminus of the kinematic chain of the manipulator is called the end effector and is analogous to the human hand. It's time for some fun facts! Hans Moravec, founder of Carnegie Mellon's Robotic Institute, predicts that robots will emerge as their own species by 2040. A cybernetics professor, Kevin Warwick, calls himself the world's first cyborg with computer chips implanted in his left arm. He can remotely operate doors, artificial hand and an electric wheelchair. Wow! Taliban fighters in Afghanistan have reportedly used ladders to flip over and disable the US military robots sent to scout out their caves. Good old low-tech. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please do like, comment and subscribe because it means a lot. Till next time, happy building.